guys what is up that answer at the start there this is the way that was the answer that was relayed to me when I asked the question what are we doing today where are we going who are we gonna see what is going on and in a very traditional Chinese way we set off where we were going I had no idea but stay tuned to find out where that is located And that was a simplified answer, this is the way. What I was actually told was, will you shut up and get in the car, put that seatbelt on. <laughs> this is me in a really remote place in China. So remote, and I don't know where I am to be fair. It's west of Shanghai, to a city called Songzi. And still in the province of Hubei, but this is about as remote as it gets back to basics. Nothing but farms and wildlife. And today I'm trying out my new camera. Then when you zoom in towards a door, okay. it opens a door for you. Hey! And then once inside, the butler tells you where you have to go. So you might have noticed here guys, where we were, they had no electricity. Everybody is wearing coats all the time. Kambe! 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 Ready? Uh. You! <laughs> <laughs> so this was all very interesting because I was in such a remote part that the locals from neighbouring farms had come across to see the white westerners so it felt almost like being at a zoo and people kept coming in and pointing and giving you hot water <laughs> but it was all uh, I'm not sure if it was a day out for me or whether it was a day out for them obviously we are inside so technically not outside but it was still very <laughs> It was still very amusing to be on display like this. <laughs> We're sorry, your call cannot be completed and dialed. Press the number and dial again. <laughs> the time that I was actually in this farmhouse at this time of year was incredibly cold. We should always, always. Yay! <laughs> and everybody was wearing a jacket constantly. 
，像个顶锤子，像个锤子。From a Western perspective, if you go to somebody's house and they've got a coat on, you have the presumption that they're either going out or they're coming in. And because we are all sitting around, it was warmer outside than it was inside. Hey, you don't want to slip over here and end up down there, do you? Not really. No. I know he's gone in. Oh my god! Oh, you're sweet. Yes. Who doesn't love a barking dog? Apart from your neighbour, if it's your dog, of course. And no sooner than when you're out, you're telling yourself, what are we doing out? We've got stuff to do, we've got to get back. <laughs> At times I was drinking cold water and it was questioned. I was told that in China, people only drink cold water in the summer and during the winter times, everybody drinks hot water. Which makes sense, but room temperature always works for me. Awesome, Pete was being generated to give me a quick blast before I had to leave. It's really interesting, I find, culturally to see how different people live in different parts of the world, how they survive, how they get through their day. And to be welcomed into this farmhouse, to eat with them and to drink, okay, hot water. <laughs> it was absolutely freezing, as I mentioned. Everyone's wearing hats and coats all day long. But nevertheless, it was a memorable experience for which I am grateful. If you've made it this far through my video, guys, if you're watching my content and you enjoy it, please consider subscribing, please hit the bell notification, you know what for, and hit the like button, as it helps out the algorithm. Awesome guys, thanks for supporting my channel, and have an awesome day, now and always.